just have an issue with height. Oops. <laughs> I touched it. <laughs> I googled my name just recently and found out I am a 1940s burlesque dancer. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> my name is Holada Jiggles. <laughs> I decided I'd try belly dancing, but I kind of have one of those bodies that startles even me when I look in the mirror. <laughs> I drive around picking strangers up. And then they took my bus away. <laughs> Seriously, I love driving bus. I get to meet new people. I pick up um, strange people. And uh, I get to... Um, sorry, just... What do I get to do? <laughs> oh. Gossip. Gossip. Oh, yeah. And occasionally it's like... Whoo, watch uh, people giving drivers blowjobs. I can parallel park my 30 foot bus with ease Hashtag I like backing up uh, I pulled into a stop the other day And there's this guy standing there I looked at him He looked at me And then I realized I'm in my own personal vehicle <laughs> Right now I'm at Lonsdale Key and I help passengers with the compass machines. And this tourist couple comes up to me and asks me about the machine. I give them some help, ask them where they're from. They said Langley. <laughs> I have like tons of pockets in my uniform. And when I lose my keys, I spend the next 20 minutes doing the pocket macarena. <laughs> Hey, there's the keys up. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, you know, people driving around with a child on board, baby on board sort of thing. Those are like the fucking worst drivers on earth. <laughs> Truly, those, sh those things should say, caution, sleep-deprived catatonic parent on board. <laughs> I have ADHD, and ADHD and cleaning are very problematic. So, like, you're doing one chore, and then you discover you need another chore over here, and then you turn around later on, realize the house just as much a fucking mess as it was when you started. <laughs> I class my ADHD as ADHD OS. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm recently separated, and I'm in a penny pinching mode. So, I've been. Um, using rabbit ears, you know, and TV antennas. That's amazing. I get like 12 channels, two or three worth watching. But it beats paying 100 bucks for two or three channels worth watching. Yeah. With the lack of funds, I've been looking for a place to have. Anyway, I, I was on Realtree.ca. I found a church for a dollar in PEI. <laughs> I just have to have a place to put it. <laughs> I'm free to pursue things I've always wanted to do, like get a tattoo. But I wonder, do people with tattoos actually know that they are people with bad tattoos know they have bad tattoos? I think I'll get something pierced instead. I need eye glasses. Oh, my glasses. <laughs> anyway, so I've reached that age where I've gone in through Maripon perimenopause and I've survived it thank god but um, I'm still a fucking mess but the hot flushes have stopped there's nothing sexier than getting hot and bothered and sweating and removing your clothing unfortunately I'm not allowed in Safeway anymore <laughs> And my clothing budget has decreased. I'm not losing the clothes I take off anymore. I was diagnosed with a food allergy, so I'm on an elimination diet. It's not fun, it makes me sad. I eat my feelings, but I can't eat anything because it's not allowed, which makes me sad. 
I love, I got that side G bra and I love it because there's so much that you can do with it. I store my bikini in the left cup. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.